So it is uh, 4.30. I'm in need of a beer. We're at Petzl filming. So this is how this works. Basically, we come to a stand. Hang on. We basically come to a stand and a company will show us their newest and coolest product. And then we'll sort of film product videos with them. So we'll talk through the features, uh, why it's different, why it's new, why it's exciting. And then we make little videos that we then put on Epic TV. So a lot of my day today is running around, making loads of notes, finding the coolest stuff so we can film it for Epic TV. As well as that, I'm filming this vlog and we're doing climbing daily episodes based on the gear that I see that I think needs a little bit more in-depth look for climbing daily. Busy, busy, busy. So I'm going to show you around the Arcteryx stand now because they've got some pretty cool stuff as always. And as you guys know, uh, they sponsor our show, Climbing Daily, which means I get to try out all of their kit and like just go nuts on some really cool stuff, so I'll show you. I've been using these recently, uh, last time, last vlog at the Grand Paradiso. I had these babies on and they're really, really good. This Gore-Tex liner thing that makes your feet super waterproof. Um, it actually wasn't too hot. I thought I'd be sweating like crazy, but it wasn't too bad. This looks cool. So I've got the big version of that. I've got the Noravan. VT running shoe, but uh, our Terex are really pushing this trail running thing at the moment, bringing out more and more products uh, and getting lighter and lighter all the time. This is kind of cool. This is a back for uh, back. This is a pack for when you're running uh, on the trails. So kind of excited to get my hands on this actually, because obviously being in Chamonix, we do some big long runs, uh, and it'd be nice to, to have hydration with me, have some food in the back. Mainly not so much for the run, but mainly when I get lost and scared. I love this jacket. Yeah, it's so comfortable, hey? I like that colour, that. The purple? The purple will be I'm excellent not, for you. I'm not sure if it's the purple or mustard that I should wear. The but purple is like an all, just like, it's your zipper, right? That's like an all, totally. yeah, that's an all person colour. I have colour. a bunch of the guys that wear the purple. Yeah, it suits them all really well. So that jacket the lady was showing with the Cerium SL. Now I've got the LT version, which is heavier, but I mean, Jesus, the lightest down jacket I've ever seen in my life. So that thing is just, insanely light still 850 down fill uh, so really really warm but just like it weighs nothing like nothing just pat it around meant to be really durable meant to be really good uh, you know when you have something really nice and then someone shows you something nicer and now I want the thing I want that it's really good So a few exciting things from Wild Country. Number one is they've extended their uh, friend range. There's now a 0.4, so really small, which is perfect. It kind of finishes off the whole lot. That means that like my favorite cam, because it is, in my opinion, by far the best cams on the market, just sort of finishes off, oops, sorry, finishes off the whole range of cams. So that's pretty cool. Second thing is that Wild Country have their own shoe now. So this is still in the prototype development phase, but it's almost ready. This is the Meshuga, and they've also got one called the Parthian. Now this is special Michelin designed rubber that's been thermo injected into the shoe, which is a kind of a cool feature. Uh, the outer is really, really technical as well. Three layers of different fabric within the toe and heel section to keep everything rigid. While the rest of it, rest of the upper bit uh, is more breathable. This is like super high end. It's gonna be like 160 euros. The sole is incredible. The precision on the shoe is beautiful. Really, really lightweight. It's gonna be interesting. Wild Country have sort of gone, look, we can't compete in terms of quantity with other people. What we can do is make something really, really high end and beautifully made, coming at the top of the market and try to encourage people to get their high performance shoes from Wild Country. This is only really a prototype. Won't be out for probably another year, but can't wait to see what it does when it comes out. Uh, this is the new La Sportiva shoe, the Jekko Gym. The idea behind this is obviously that it's an indoor only meant for climbing shoe. So the uh, upper is uh, synthetic, it's a mesh and it's washable and breathable and all the rest, so like less sweaty feet. And then the rubber is La Sportiva's own rubber, so they developed it themselves. Uh, it's called Friction X, and as you can see, it's coloured, coloured all the way through. And this is non stainable, so you don't leave black marks all over the wall or wherever you are, it's just uh, no marks at all. So, 
interesting. Like it's this is becoming more and more prevalent with climbing shoe brands. They make indoor shoes. And it is the way forward. But uh, haven't tried this out yet. I'm not sure I want to. But uh, if I do, I'll let you know. That is it. Outdoor is finished for another year. I am. Knackered, absolutely knackered. Uh, this vlog is a bit of a sort of throw together amalgamation of loads of different stuff. So sorry if it's a bit of a weird one. I just didn't have enough time to do anything really. Uh, so yeah, done. Just watching, buy loads of gear. See you soon.